Hey Divine Masculines, how are y'all guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my masculine channel, One Manual, where I do reading for the Divine Masculine and to see where the Divine Feminine energy is. So I read the Divine Feminine energy so your masculines, the masculines can know where their feminines are at. Divine Feminines. Join this camp as well so that you can know where your where your energy is. So you can change, mend, recreate, or work on anything that you need to work on. Now, let's jump straight into your message, Divine Masculines. This is messages from your guides. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, 101. All right, Divine Masculines, let's see what your guides have to say to you. What message they have for you today. It said, shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. So divine uh, masculine, some of you may be experiencing some kind of turbulent moment right now. <laughs> I like saying that. So what you're being encouraged to do right now is to stick through whatever it is you're experiencing. Shine your light. Shine bright. You will make it through this situation. You are having these feelings, these changes that are happening in your life. These tower moments. These things that are, it seems like they're falling apart. And you can't understand. You don't know why all these changes are happening to you so suddenly. All these changes. These breakups, these shakeups, these separation, loss of job, loss of apartment, the, everything that's happening to you. You feel like the whole world is crumbling around you. But you know what you don't realize is that things are being put into place. Things have to be broken for them to be put back together. Something, when something is whole, there's nothing wrong with it. But when that thing becomes broken, then you know that there was something definitely wrong with it in the first place. And now, in order to put your life back the way that it should be, those things have to be removed. Those things have to be broken. You have to be separated from those things. Because there are some of you divine masculines who are in jobs, in relationships, living in certain places with certain people that you know you're not comfortable, you know you're not happy, you know you're not supposed to be there, but you were just living in the moment because that's where you were are that's where you were at at the moment. So you were just going with the flow, not realizing that you are making yourself unhappy, not realizing that you definitely need to make a change but now these changes are happening god is forcing these changes to happen in your life because you have a purpose you are a servant of god and you have this purpose to fulfill you are a twin flame you have a another half another half out there that you should be with to fulfill your destiny, whatever your destiny is, and you won't find out until you're with this person. But you gotta go with the flow, the same way you were going with the flow when you were living in that unhappy situation. Now you gotta go with this flow, the things that are changing. Let God lead you. And through this time, you gotta shine your light because you are a leader. You are God's servant. Shine your light. Do not let these negative situations that are happening around you bring you down. This is a time when you should stand up and work with those changes to bring forth what it is that is coming together. You can't see it, but not until you start to let go and trust God will you actually see the direction your life is headed into. 454. 
Let's see whatever what is. Find a lesson. See that? Find a lesson. Discover the purpose in this situation. Trust that you are learning. Like I was saying, everything that's happening around you, everything that's falling apart, divine masculine, is for a reason. It's for a purpose. You gotta trust God. You gotta trust these things that are falling apart. Let God lead you in the path that you should be, where you should be. You know you don't belong where you are at. You know you're unhappy. You know someone is using you. Everybody can tell when someone is using them. Everyone. But sometimes we just turn a blind eye because we are comfortable where we are at and we don't want to change. We know that apartment is not good for us. We know that living situation is not good for us, but we refuse to move because it's a hard journey to move. It takes a lot of energy to move. So you remain in those situations. You know you don't belong in those relationships because all the other person does is use you, manipulate you, try to control you. But you still remain. <laughs> five, five, five. It's all about changes. You still remain because you're comfortable. These changes that are happening around you is to put you on your right path, put you with that true love, the person that will love you like you want to be loved, that will treat you the way you want to be treated. You don't have to be begging for love. You don't have to be begging for attention because this person knows you. This person knows what you want, what you need, and they will give it to you the same way you will put out your all and give to this person the same way they will be giving back to you because they were made especially for you and you were made especially for them. But you just got to trust God. Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words not living in the now. There you go. You're wasting your time, divine masculines. 711. You're wasting your time. You've had promises from these people. Whether it's a, a, a partner, whether it's a, 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 a boss, whether it's a landlord, whether it's a family member, you've had promises. But they were just empty words. Stop sticking where it is. You know you do not belong. You're not paying attention to what's happening around you. You're either looking back at your past and realizing that, my God, I'm, I, I'm, I feel so insecure. Like I had, yeah, I had certain things happen to me in the past. So I'm scared to move forward. I'm scared that nobody else will love me. But what about this new person that you found that loves you? They know exactly who you are. They know what you've been experiencing. They know the life you have been living because they are you. If you talk to them, you realize that the same situation you are experiencing, they have also experienced. That's because you're the same person living the same life but in two different bodies. But you got to find out. Stop sticking to the past. Stop looking too far ahead in the future. Thinking this person is not going to want me. This person is not going to love me if they find out who I truly am. If they're going to find out that I'm so insecure. Stop looking too far ahead. Pay attention to the now. And the things that you see now that are not acceptable, you just need to fix them. You just need to change them. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, Divine Masculines. Becoming braver. There you go. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh, fresh perspective. Become braver, divine masculine. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. You are a powerful being. You are a child of God. You're a servant of God. You are a twin flame. Whatever you think, whatever you manifest will happen. You want that new job? Tell God about it. You want that lover that will treat you like you would treat them? Tell God about it. Actually, he already sent that lover to you. You want that new apartment? Tell God about it. What you think, what you manifest will definitely come to you. 
because you are a child of God and you have the power to do so. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. You are very curious about this new person that showed up in your life. You want to know why this person is in your life. You want to know why you love this person so much. You want to know why they love you so much. That curiosity is going to lead you to the opportunity of a lifetime, 1022. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. That's what I've been telling you. Do not fear the changes that are happening in your life. Use your time well. Make every moment count. All this time that you have with all these changes that are happening in your life. Do not waste it by thinking about the past. Do not waste it by looking too far ahead in the future. Pay attention to the now and use your time wisely. Investigate, look closely, ask questions, think before acting. Look closely. Realize and see that this person who says that they love you, 1111, Who's been chasing after you? Look closely. Does this person truly love me or are they just chasing after me? Look closely. Why would they be chasing after you when they don't even know you? They must truly love you. Look closely at the people that you say you love. That you are around. Look at how they treat you. Do they love you the same way that you love them? Do they love you the same way that this person who is chasing after you loves you? Look closely, Divine Masculine. Pay attention. Innocence, take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. Follow your intuition. Be happy. Live in the moment. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. Explore. Dig deep. Find out what these people really want with you. Start thinking about it. Start looking. This is now the time that you can start to look in your past and see how these people have been treating you. And then you can realize, did they really love me? And at the same time, while you are working on yourself, make sure you're making yourself happy. Because if you're depending on somebody else to make you happy, that's the wrong thing to do. You won't find happiness. Happiness you're looking for is within you. It is within you and you are responsible for your own happiness. Trust, leap into the unknown, have faith, and move forward. Believe you will fly. Trust this connection that God brought to you. Trust this twin flame journey. Trust that this person is good for you because that's all we are running from, divine masculines and feminines. Running from hurt, running from pain, running from disappointment because we've experienced it so much in our lives. So we fear that it may happen again with this other person. But you got to trust God. Not the person you're trusting. You're trusting God. Because God brought this person to your life for a reason. God made those changes happen in your life with those other people for a reason. Leap into the unknown. Move forward and believe that things will happen the way that they should. Because you're trusting God. Here again, strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And I had seen that you will be receiving gifts. This is the gift from God. Your twin flame, your divine feminine, the person that will love you the way you want to be loved. But you got you to gotta know. You got to trust that God knows what he's doing. This challenge that you're experiencing will make you stronger. You will make it. You will make it through. And here you have it again. You will make it to the other side. You just got to trust in God. Passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Start paying attention to what makes you happy. Start doing what makes you happy. 
and everything will be falling into place. You'll realize that you are responsible for your own happiness, not anyone else out there. So what they've been telling you, the way they tell you that you are the things that they see as faults within you, you realize it's because they themselves have issue and because they are trying to keep you stuck. Because they want you where they are so they can drain your energy and be happy. While you are sad, not experiencing any ounce of happiness. That's why you got to realize that you are responsible for your own happiness. Those are what you call energy vampires. They hang on to you and suck your energy. While at the same time leaving you unhappy. Intention, be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want, be bold with your request to the universe, that's what I'm telling you. You want someone to love you like you would love them, tell God. You want that job that will help you to succeed in life, to get what you've always dreamed of, tell God about it. You want that new apartment, tell God about it. Be bold with your request to the universe. Anger, safely express your anger, use anger as a positive force, honor all of your your emotions are sacred. Every one of your emotions is sacred, divine masculines. Every one of them. Everyone, do not let anger take control of you so that you jump to conclusion, so that you act before thinking. Take control of it. Don't let it take control of you. Dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. So all that you've been dreaming of, all that you want and need in your life. Turn that music up. Dance. Some of you are musicians. Some of you like to sing, DJ, rap, whatever it is. Get into that space. And tell God what you want. Manifest it. Think about it. You may even write songs. Whatever it is you do. Paint. Whatever. Use that energy to manifest what you want. Remember, God knows your heart. Again, gifts from God, 711. So some of you divine masculines will be coming into union with your divine feminines very soon. 717, oh my God, yes. Follow those numbers, they will tell you what's happening. Search for the numbers, twin flame number 711, twin flame number 717. And it will lead you where you need to be. Gifts from God, Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Your divine feminine is a gift to you. It's nothing for you to be scared of. They are a blessing from God. And that's why everything happening around them and with you is spiritual. Because they are your gift from God. They were made for you and, th and you were made for them. You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So some of you guys, you may have um, responsibilities that you are scared to walk away from. But trust, God has your back. God has your back and God is protecting you from those lower energies that are trying to keep you stuck. 1818. Gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environment. That's it. Change. Change the people around you. Change your situation. Change your environment. If they don't make you happy. And you got to take it easy on yourself. That's why you got to get out of the past. Things that happened in the past. Not your fault. It's because they knew that you're this powerful being. Because energy can sense energy. And these negative energies know who you are before you even know who you are. So they are there to try to stop you from becoming this powerful being. From learning to love yourself so you can find out that you are a servant of God. Life Review Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that's unbalanced. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Look at the things that have been happening in your life and you change them. Work to change them. Heal them. Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So some of you divine masculines may have children. Pay attention to your children. Play with them. Love them. Care for them. Do not let the negative partner keep you stuck so that you forget to love your child. So that you forget... To be happy, to play with them. 
your child will be unhappy if you're unhappy because they're a part of you so they can sense you they can feel your energy they know when you're happy they know when you're sad so while you're taking care of them making them happy that happiness will be reflected onto you as well teaching and learning archangel zadkiel keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others there you go ding ding all that you're learning 2020 all that you're experiencing you will need to teach these to your children as well so if you keep yourself stuck in a situation that makes you unhappy that's what you're teaching your child to learn to stay in a situation that makes you unhappy but when you take those steps when you move because you know that all that is important is your happiness and their happiness they will learn from you and do the same I always say to you guys your your child grows up and look for that parent that you were with let me put it more clearly for you if you have a son your child will grow up looking for the wife that their mother is if you have a daughter your daughter will grow up looking for the father looking for the husband that their mother has so if you are with a man who treats you negatively your daughter will grow up looking for that man with those same attitudes that will treat your child the same way that your husband treated you if you have that son they will grow up looking for that woman who put you down, who makes you feel belittled, who talks down to you, who uses you, mistreats you, takes advantage of you. Your son will be looking for the same kind of woman, hence repeating your cycle, which is why you've got to figure out what you need in life 22, 22. And where your happiness lies and remove yourself therefore you're learning what makes you happy and what you need to do then you're teaching these things to your children so they do not end up in the same situations that you were involved in this has been your message divine masculines take care of yourself shine bright light that candle let go and let God and I see you at your next message later Love you all. Oh, to purchase a reading or your book, go to twindy flamed that's there that site for your bracelets, your keychains, your incense, bath bombs. Go to twindy holistic boutique dot square dot site. Later, guys. Love you all. Like one, like God.